Well, I'm joined now by Paul and Jack Davis. Now, we met a couple of years ago at Soltex. Jack, you and I had a bit of a chat. Um, it's lovely to see you back here again. What have you been up to in the last two years? Let's have a catch up. Uh, not much really, just, um, well, been doing what I've been doing for the last four years and cutting lawns and yeah, I really enjoy it and uh, hopefully I'm going to leave school in the next next year yeah. and uh, hope, looking, for, looking forward to going to college and probably doing an apprenticeship. Uh, not sure who I'm doing an apprenticeship yet with, but um, yeah, it could be Dad or I got um, asked by the, the Wolves Football Club yesterday if I wanted to do an apprenticeship with them. Wow. So, um, yeah, that would be quite good. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have a look into that. Yeah. And, yeah, it's going to be good. So, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. Just to remind folks that maybe don't know of your story, you've both got your own companies. You've obviously got Paul's Gardening and Mowing Services, but you've got Jack's yeah, yeah. Mowing and Gardening Service. Yeah. Well, exactly, Gardening and Mowing Service. So you're, you're in basically father and son, but you're in competition. How does that work, Paul? Well, I've worked on my, on my own for the last 12 years, 13 years, and Jack started when he was 11, because he's, um, people round by where we live, the village we live in, Jack's been going round, he bought a ride on Mo when he was about 11, Yeah, about 11. so he, he's attached a, a trailer to the back of it with a mower and a strimmer and blower. And you just go around the village, didn't you? When you cutting lawns and hand, you cutting were, lawns and handing out leaflets, and uh, when he was 11 years of age. So. That's quite incredible at such a young age to kind of know already what you wanted to do. That's unusual. Well, I mean, I, I loved gardening since I was the age of two. I used, I used to go around with little plastic mowers, and I used to go with Dad. I used to follow him with plastic mowers, and he used to tell me off for leaving lines. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so um, when I was able to start my own business and start doing it myself, yeah. it was great. So obviously I've just ordered this new um, uh, ride on mower, Husqvarna. I know, so you're back at the show and you were just literally telling me before we put the camera on. So how much have you spent? Uh, well, the retail price of it is £13,500, wow. uh, but I've paid £10,300 for it. That's a good deal. Yeah. So. Is it because they know who you are? Well, I think so, yeah, and uh, I got them a lot of business, so, yeah, they did me a discount, yeah, as well, so, yeah. That's quite incredible. I don't think there's many lads your age that are spending their sort of hard-earned cash on machinery, quite frankly. It's, it's different. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously I do want to save money as well, but well, I, I like, um, I get enjoyment out of the, the, the new bigger mowers and, and the comfort of them and that, so, yeah, I thought it was, um, I thought it was worth it. The money. Yeah, absolutely. You must be incredibly proud of him. Yes, yes. I, the, the thing is with Jack is I, I pay all the bills and <laughs> Jack buys all the uh, the latest uh, equipment, don't you? Yeah. yeah. But he, he is. He does. Uh, he does amazing. Yeah. Amazingly well. Yeah, it really is. You're quite a motivation, inspiration, I think, for a lot of people. So let's talk about Soltex then, because you've obviously been coming for a while. What do you love about coming along to the show? Well, obviously, I like coming to meet all the lawn care legends. Uh, obviously, we have a meet up yesterday, um, so that that was good. And uh, I know they're rec recording a few videos for YouTube, and I think I'm in a couple. So, yeah, obviously, I like meeting up with them and seeing the, the new machines that are coming out for 20, 2022. So, um, obviously, yeah, it's good to see what what's coming out, and yeah, and it's all going battery powered now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, Soltex, of course, especially this year, it's all about innovation, and that's definitely where things are going. And is that something you're interested in? Yeah, well, obviously, I mean, we're all starting to go battery powered now, and we've got a few battery powered, well, we've got a battery powered mower. Some ego stuff, haven't some we? Some ego stuff from where we are now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, we've got this. <laughs> that oh, one. Nice. No, it's this one. Yeah, it's that oh, right. one. Yeah, it's that one, yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's all going battery powered. But, Still, there's still petrol stuff out there, which is good. So I think they need to work a bit more on some of the batch powered stuff before it starts all going professional. So yeah, so yeah. Well, listen, it's been so lovely catching up with you guys again, two years on, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll only be a year till the next Soltex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, listen, have a great rest of the show. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.